in the uh, 1400s, a Jew by the name of Moses de Leon in Spain claimed that he found an ancient manuscript uh, which uh, he called the Zohar and he copied that manuscript and he published it and disseminated it. Now the Zohar he attributed it to Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, the great Tana, the student of Rabbi Akiva, the one uh, to whose grave at Maron every year on Lag Bomer, hundreds of thousands of Jews uh, visit. Since the Zohar did not reach an audience, a public audience, until the 1400s. So it's obvious that in the 11th century, 12th century, 13th century, would not appear in the customs of Ashkenaz because no one had the book. Now, so there are a number of ways to look at this. The first way to look at it is regarding the Zohar itself. Who wrote it? Is it accurate? Now, in our time, the Zohar is accepted almost universally as being a holy book. In fact, it's called the Zohar HaKadosh, the Holy Zohar. Amongst the Svardim, it's very, very popular. In fact, the uh, entire sections of the Zohar are committed to memory and are recited. There are many that recite the whole part of the Zohar concerning the Parsha Tashavua, the uh, Thursday night before uh, Shabbat. All of that uh, makes it acceptable. Amongst the Ashkenazim, so you have the uh, in the Hasidic world, the Zohar is also sacrosanct. It's accepted, and uh, much of Hasidus, the ideas of Hasidus, are based upon statements in the Zohar. However, and there is a big however, there's another opinion. Yaakov Emden, uh, the great... Uh, uh, scholar in the 1700s in uh, Hamburg and he owned a printing press he produced many many great works a very very controversial figure he was engaged all of his life in uh, trying to straighten out the world and the world always pushed back He writes, Kemat Ainli Sufik Bedover. I have no doubt regarding the Zohar that it's not authentic. Gam Yesh Leda Sheikh Nisu Besocha Dvorim Harbe. They introduced into the Zohar many things that even if Rabshim ben Yochoi had such a safer, the safer that we have is not that safer. Rakagos Macharonim Od. Later, later people, everybody added to it. The printers added to it. The copyists added to it. And it became more and more and more. The Uchalach Riach Lochiach Zeb Siata I'll be, I can prove it to you, he says. The Ashma Samatikim, it is the fault of the copyists and the printers. And therefore, I wrote a book about it called Mitpachas Svarim. In his book, Mitpachas Svarim, which is devoted to this topic. So he says, there are ideas of Reb Shimon ben Yochoi in the Zohar, but the Zohar itself is not from Reb Shimon ben Yochoi in the way that we have it. 
and uh, therefore uh, uh, it's so to speak not uh, not really authentic. Uh, he's not alone in this. Uh, <clears throat> others also claimed that the Zohar was not what we claim it to be. Uh, the, the great fe- defender of the Zohar was the Chidot, Reb Chaim Yosef David Hazulai, also in the 1700s, who uh, uh, practically accused Reb Yaakov Emden of heresy in stating that the Zohar is not authentic. And he says everybody uses it and uh, all the great rabbis and, uh, how, and uh, the whole Kabbalah is based on it. How could you say it's not? However, the Hassam Sofer, Moshe Sofer, rose in defense of Yaakov Emden in the 1800s. And he said, Hine nimtsu sefer mitpacha svorim lo Rabbi Yaakov ben Tzvi Emden. We have this book, Mitpacha Svorim to Rabbi Yaakov Emden. Timtsa Shom Kidover Godel Diber Anovi. What he says is true, it's prophecy. And therefore he said, the Chsam Sofer said, Ilu Hoyo Yecholis Biad Odom Lahamid Midroshe Reb Shimon Ben Yochoi Al Taroson. If we could sift the book and keep only the words and ideas of Reb Shimon Ben Yochoi that appear there. To be able to clear out what later people wrote about it, be a very, very thin book, he said. The Zohar is a very big book. Very thin book. It would have only a few pages. Some so far. The uh, Talmud of the Noda Yehuda, of Rabbi Yecheskel Alevi Landau, Rabbi Elozer uh, Falaklish, so he wrote a Sefer Tshuva Me'ava, very famous Sefer. And he says, I mean, he, uh, he says it most strongly of all, Hareini Nishba B'Torah Sashem, I swear by God, by the Torah, Shesefer Azor Nimso Kamo Ziyufim. It's a forgery. Vilkil Kuli Masher Osifu. And all sorts of things that were added. Lav Migush Beneda Reb Shimon Ben Yechoi Zaktiya. It never came from Reb Shimon Ben Yechoi. And Misha Yeshlo Chatsi Das Yoid Kain. Someone who has a little Seicho. We will understand that that can't be from Reb Shimon ben Yochoi. Sherei niskru b'sefer azor kamatanoim v'amoroim shoyu acher Reb Shimon ben Yochoi, because people are listed there who lived way after the time of Reb Shimon ben Yochoi. And then he says there are pieces, of, entire pieces of Rashi that are in there, and pieces of Tosfos that are in there. So he says the whole thing was put together. There's an interesting point that has to be said also. The wife of, of Moshe de Leon said that he wrote it. So you're always good to have a wife that supports you <laughs> and is on your side. <laughs>